Hey guys, another super quick video, this time about using PyMail. Now I wanna go in, into a little bit more detail on PyMail in a later video, but I just thought I'd show you guys how to quickly switch over to PyMail. And in the other video, I'll explain all the advantages and disadvantages of using PyMail. But if you're ever curious about how to use it, well, this is the right video because I'll show you guys how to switch over. Super quick, super easy. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are inside of Maya. I've just created a few objects that I'm gonna use as an example. And we're gonna use this little selector window script as the example script that we were gonna to use to convert over to PyMail. So at the moment it's using Maya.cmds and we wanna use the PyMail framework instead of this. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to convert it over. And I mean, it's so easy that um, really, there's no reason why you shouldn't be using PyMail unless there is a reason why you shouldn't be using PyMail. But that's for another video. And in that other video, I'm going to go over the advantages and disadvantages of PyMail. But, you know, for regular day, everyday use, I, I use PyMail for the most part. And um, it's just so much nicer, you know, to write and to read as well. So I highly recommend using PyMail. Now, let's... Let's take a look at this little selector window script. And before we actually get too deep into it, I just wanna say that we have a Discord server and I'm uh, gonna put all this code inside of the Discord server inside of the Python channel, just so you guys can grab it so anyone who doesn't have this code doesn't have to rewrite all this. And if you kinda of wanna look into this code and see how it's all written, you can, uh, you can do that. And I'll also put the link to the description where I actually write this uh, piece of code, the selector window code. So yeah, we've got a whole video on this. And I'm just gonna run the script now and just quickly show you guys what it does. Basically, you can select these objects, store them in these fields, and then whenever you want, you can recall your selection just by hitting the buttons and uh, you know, it just selects the object that's stored in that field. So I'm gonna copy all this code first. So Control C, right click, new tab, Python tab, paste all this code in. Now I wanna replace uh, this code with PyMail instead of CMDS. So I'm gonna put my little cursor up to the top there and then go edit, search and replace. And this is a, you know, it's a pretty familiar interface here where you can search and replace for code and you can get to there with Control F. And that's a um, pretty general, uh, you know, hotkey for find, you know, find and replace. So what I want to want to find, I want to find CMDS and I want to replace it with PM. And this search down basically says it's going to search from, you know, wherever your cursor is down to the very bottom. That's why I place my cursor at the very top so that it's searching all the code. And then I'm just going to hit replace all. And you can see it's gone through and it's replaced anywhere where it's found CMDS with PM and at the very top here, it's kind of done that as well, but this is an, an actual module. So if I try to run this, it's gonna have an import error. The way to actually import PyMail is to do import pymail.call as PM. And this will import pymail.call and store it in the PM namespace, much like how we did maya.cmds as cmds, we're just doing pymail.call as PM. And really you can use whatever you want there. You can you can call a PyMail like that if you wanted, or you can call it PC for PyMail call. But the convention I've been, you know, seeing the most and I'm the most familiar with is the PM convention. And that's all there is. Now if I select all this code and I run it, you can see it's you know it's launching the UI as you would expect, and everything is working just as you'd expect. So that's as easy as it is in order to get your code from CMDS over to PyMail. All you need to do is a find and replace. Now there's a few functions which are a little bit different between PyMail and CMDS, but they're quite rare and you won't always encounter them. Chances are for most of the code that you write, you can just do a find and replace and everything's just gonna work out of the box. Yeah, make sure you stick around for the other video where I kind of go over the advantages and disadvantages of PyMail and why I personally love it and why I use it on a daily basis. So yeah, make sure you stick around.